Hello and welcome to episode 4 on the series of Infinity Evolved Expert Skyblock. Last time we left off, we made the thermionic fabricator, um, except this little system here. So, off camera, I've sort of increased the lava production a bit. Still got my compact and draw there to take any excess cobblestone. I need to make a few more of these transfer nodes to um, take the lava out of here and take it over to this bit here with these stone barrels. So to get obsidian what I do is just basically put the water along the top here and then I can go along and pick up the obsidian. So they will just sit there and fill up as and when I need them. I also set up this little dirt machine here. So you put stuff in there in the hopper or the chest and then uh, it will go down into this oak barrel and then get sucked out into this chest as dirt. So now another way to get sort of stuff to compost instead of um, using saplings or I suppose you get some shears and get the leaves down you can just use a hammer on the on the wood and you'll get these uh, wood chippings is what they're called I'll finish off this tree you get the wood chippings and then you can stick them in there and they will compost into dirt so let's plant another sapling down so today, oh yeah, another thing I did, quickly just move this, move these barrels over here, fill, fill them from this pipe to give us water constantly. That way when I want clay or anything like that I can just come over here and just the water's automatically filled up. So yeah, today we're going to look at making the assembly table, the lasers and the blast furnace. <coughs> now, do, 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 which one is it? There we go, blast furnace. So you've got two choices really, you've got the immersive engineering one or the railcraft one. The railcraft one takes a few more blocks. It's two more recipes to make the uh yeah, two more of these recipes. Which more sand and I ain't got any ender pearls or glue. Basically more TNT to this one. So we're gonna go for the immersive engineering one. Now I did have the TNT somewhere, did I put it uh, I put it on the crafting table ready. Just gotta get a uh, hardened clay that was cooking up. So yeah, so let's put these recipes in. So seven of them. Uh, I think I shall. Yeah, I should put this. Let's just put it here next to the coke oven. I made another little tank here just to take up some of the creosote. So we'll put it here. Now this one's a, like the coke oven, a three by three, but solid base rather than a hollow. And we're just going to need to make a. Where are you going down? There you go. You're going to have to make a immersive engineering hammer to finish this one off. There we go, we've got one spare block just sitting there. So, I can't remember how to make the hammer. So where is it? Immersive engineering hammer, there we go. Engineer's hammer, that's what it's called. There we go, easy as that. And then basically just right click on it and you get this little sort of hole on the front. So we can now start making some steel finally. This thing does take a long time. I've actually got any iron ready kicking about. Yeah, got some iron, we'll take that. I'll have to make some more. So you need iron in and we need some sort of fuel. I believe I've got some Coke coal, there we go, we use that. Yeah, we'll stick that in there and it will take a long time but it will make steel. As you can see it's going up very, very slowly. Um, so now we've got that sorted, we'll have a look at the assembly table. Now to make that, where is it? No, there. So we're going to make the diamond gear which is basically just a gold gear cast in the smeltery with diamonds around it put that in with our obsidian that I collected from the little setup behind me some redstone and there we go assembly table now to power that we're going to need these lasers so which is what we needed the thermionic fabricator for now again this is all just a basic quick setup I will expand this platform and move it all around let's get some cables glued in there yep just in the right amount Get this, oh, get this stone just to put down to place it all on. So if we go for it, 
Let's go for it next to the thermionic fabricator. Let's put the assembly table there. We need another bit to put the laser on. And then we'll put the lasers there. There's a hammer this one. Oh nice. Ah, oh, because I hammered stone rather than cobblestone. So oh, am I gonna be able to connect this? Or is it gonna be obstructed? No, good. So we can connect them up. Now what do I need? I want a chest next to that for it to output all its items to. Uh da -da -da, let's have that. Got this chest. Put the chest down there and now I'll be able to craft some stuff. That should be slowly, slowly getting power. Yeah, very slowly. Because obviously with this machi these machines running here, I'll just stop them for the moment. They're gonna be um just put it in there. They're gonna be taking all the power. So we're gonna make some iron chipsets and some redstone chipsets. So I make we're always going to need these redstone ones. So we'll make a few of them to start off with. And iron. I don't know what iron kicking about. Don't think I have. Let's set these going. Put them in there and choose them. Take some out actually, and we'll just save that for the iron chipsets. No, no more iron. Alright, oh, well, I'll um, get some iron. Well, actually, I'll take some from here. I only need two. I'll have to smelt some more up. So, put that there. And we can make the iron chipsets as well. So, I'll wait for that to kind of sort of finish making it uh, off camera. And then I'll be right back. Welcome back. So, I've made a few three redstone and a couple of iron chipsets. I've disconnected the power from these because I don't need them filling up. I want to put my energy more towards my sifter and my hammer at the moment. Um, while I've been waiting for that I've been smelting down a load of stuff. As you can see I've got a load of copper and some, took some steel out of the um, blast furnace. I've also been sifting in a load of dirt to try and get some rubber trees because for this um, metal former we're going to need the circuits so we need a basic electronic circuit, which is three uh, or six insulated copper, which is basically with the rubber. So I basically found some of them, cooked up some rubber, so we're ready to go with that. So we can start making this metal former. So we need some copper. Um, I'm guessing we'll probably need some iron. Um, I know we need some bronze. So we'll get the hammer and let's have a look. So if we start off, actually I'll do it over here so we can put them down. So if we start off with the electronic circuit, so we're going to need one iron plate. Get that made. Uh, we're going to need some of the cable. So this stuff here. So we're going to need a load of these. So that gives us two. So two, two, three recipes there. But we're also going to need so that eight, twenty-four. So if we do about thirty, does that need any? No, thirty should be enough. Uh, let's just do all this. Why not? We wouldn't end up needing it anyway in the future. So we need to make some cutters. So we need some iron plates for that, and we also need these. So. That's 11 iron plates. So, I well, we might as well make the frame if I had the iron chipset with me, it would help. So, there's the basic machine frame, stick that there. We need to make the, what's it, the scissors or whatever they're called, cutters. 
make some cutters and then cut down this plate to that. So we need to make the coils, which is three times. And iron in the middle, yeah, three of them. We can stick them there. We need to make the toolboxes, so we need some wood. Which I haven't got. Right, okay, let me just quickly bone mill a tree. Get rid of the sapling. There's my bone mill. I need my hammer. No, not hammer, my axe. We've got some oak there actually. Is that going to be enough for two chests? No, I just need to chop this down quickly. I really want to get a auto tree farm going. But I've got a plan for that. I think I'm going to do a sort of Steve Cart setup. I know it's probably not the most efficient, but once we get a rolling machine, which is fairly simple to make, I can start doing it. So let's just pl plant the sapling down. So we shall make a couple of chests. Um, we need to make the bronze plate. So it's that five ten. So twenty bronze. One, two, three, four. Oh, and the hammer's got only three left. But once we get this metal former sorted, we won't need the um won't need the hammer, thankfully. Ah, uh, oh, we're going to need the hammer now, aren't we, to make the... Ah, oh, I'm going to have to make a new one, isn't I? Yep, I thought so. So, have I got any treated? Oh, some of that. Alright. It's a bit of a shame. Oh, well. I don't want to use up the hammer. Alright, so where were we? Make them, two of them, stick them either side of that, and now we just need to make the circuit, which we need a bit of redstone for. Is it one redstone? Is it two? Two. Two redstone. Alright, so we need to make six of these. There you go there and there, tin plate in the middle and redstone on the side. Nice, so we've finally got a metal former. So we can start say so next episode probably looking at making the uh, water wheel. So we should bang this down. Just stick it here. There we go. Put that torch down there. So what was the water wheel? We're looking at the shaft, I believe it was. Yeah, the iron shaft. So I'll do that off camera. I'll um, I might set up the framework for the um, water wheels, but we are also going to need the um, dynamos. Uh, these kinetic dynamos, which is what we required steel for as well. Uh, lead, electrum. Not too bad. Uh, redstone, which I'm running fairly low on. What's that electrum in there? Yeah. Yeah, I think I'll get all that, that all crafted and then we'll build it up together next episode. So, I uh, hope you enjoyed the episode and uh, I shall see you next time.